Well, hello everyone. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on uh, Breeze and Thorn Racks from 2012, of course. An interesting fact with these two sets is that these were the only two of the way that were originally set for 1.0, but for America, they were delayed until uh, the second wave in the summer of 2012, of course. So not sure why that is. If anyone knows why that is, comment down below. Although there is a few cases like that where some sets were delayed until the, the next wave in America, in the USA, obviously. Whatever. So on the front of the box, from the bags you see, the Lego logo, Hero Factory logo, picture of the sets that come within and are around a big large nest of thorn racks, of course. You can see on the sides of which are the names of the sets and the game points for the online game and age group and uh, set number, but missing out pieces, obviously. And on the back, see picture of the two sets that there are and showing the features of them and also how to get the codes for the online game, of course, and yeah. And now onto the instruction manual. So it same pictures on the front of the box and or bags and everything. How to win on the online survey. And then out of the com combination model that they make. And then the two sets advertised there and the pieces that come with the sets. And then also the points for the online game, obviously. This one look. Of course, on the same step. Now, on to the sets. First of which is Thorn Racks. Which Kind of odd name for the set, of course, but even though we do have to use that for Thorn Axe uh, weapons, of course, and yeah, as in the launcher weapon, obviously. And for the front part of which, which is using that same, the same pieces, but in orange, which is a nice color to them, and also, and whereas for this headpiece, which is just the same as the, as Black Phantom's Arachnix drone in black, which Oh, which that will be next next throwback Thursday is of course and and of course using the Baraki eye pieces in it of course and one of the highlights of him oh it, or her whatever or it rather are these are the uh, limb pieces here but in uh, brightish blue color oh, which great for Hero Factory mocking obviously and also. So, uh, Ferno 2.0 or 3.0's uh, wing blade pieces in black, also nice, great to have. And also those two orange tubes like we've seen on Rotor and whatnot. And also great return of these wing pieces from Gorast in uh, 2008 Mystica line, of course. And as you see, it's kind of a tripod-ish kind of build to it, like just the arms and then the uh, uh, tail back here, of course, uh, which does have a five long armor piece, but in orange, uh, which also nice for mocking. First time introduced to that, and it goes down into like the quasi spike piece, but used as a stinger, of course. And that's for the middle build of which is two of Waspix's uh, back section pieces to make all the limbs work out like of which this is also nice if you were to make a mock of a character with like many limbs or something but yeah and let's see one more good view of it, of it. Yeah. I guess that is about it with thorn racks and now on to breeze of which 
quite similar build to that of like Forno and Raka, of course. And instead of like a two-way clashing color scheme like the other sets do, but it's a three-way one, which is mostly lime green, her main color, but also red, just like Breeze uh, 2.0 and 1.0 both had, but now also with white on there, obviously. Whereas for the feet, it's probably the only one that ever reused the Hero Factory 1.0 uh, foot pieces, but although it does kind of work out for that, representing high heels, of course, and also have the uh, minifigure megaphone pieces, but used as like being used as jet thrusters, of course. You can see similar piece with Breeze 2.0 also had, and also in there. Also for her chest plate piece, which is in lime green and same as the other one, so which and but her prints of which are for some like honeycomb type textures to it, kind of close to the shield thing here. And also what I don't get is why still use this large wider armor piece instead of the like narrower one to make her less bulky, of course. But besides that still looking kind of a bit feminine like Breeze is supposed to be obviously and also for her for the arms of which which is the five long armor piece like we've seen on Scorpio and Savage Planet line and also the new spherical pieces in lime green obviously and also all new to her and also Raka as well are these new energy shield pieces which if you move around has this texture in them that also moves, so which is quite cool to that. And these red ones exclusive to her, and the lower arms are just these kind of limb pieces, but in white, of which also nice for mock making, of course, and for her main blades of which, which are all new to break out, of course, which we also see on Black Phantom and also on the Batman Ultra Build set, but however, in this color, which also used on one Mindstorms set, obviously. And for the other hand of which, which is the new launcher pieces, which also in red, like we've seen on Furno and all. But interesting fact is that she, which is the only one to ever use an actual hand piece on that when the others of which just use regular uh proper hand connector pieces for the hand of which not sure why they ever do that when she's the only one that does but yeah and of course the head piece of which or head and helmet of which same as breeze 1.0 had of course and also on the back of which is another 1.0 foot piece as back armor piece armor there of course and on to and unlike what Forno had is have one armor piece facing uh, other way instead of frontwards although it could have worked out if they were like both frontwards or probably to differentiate her from Forno obviously and as for the hand cups of which just like all the hero sets come with of course and you can like cuff the villain sets with obviously And so now, on to with the final verdict. Oops. And so overall, these I think are quite good sets uh, uh, for the year of 2012, at least a few good a lot of good recolors of pieces, and within Thornrax's case, in which good return of the like uh, the other wing pieces, of course, and yeah, and those, and as with Breeze's case, in which good return of some couple of 1.0 uh, pieces, being the foot, feet, and whatnot, and, and at least they all the Breeze, of which has got, of which still being quite a bit feminine. Or probably the most feminine version of Breeze that we've had 
or have, well, you know, the other versions didn't quite do much justice to that, but at least this was probably the best one, yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.